Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608 and today I am playing Star Maid. And I added just a few more little bits of armor. I armored up the uh, the back here, armored up, I mean I put slats of armor on it. This might be one of my most heavily armored ships I've ever built. Well, yeah, no, this is probably one of my better armored ships I've ever built. I need to build the nose piece. And let's... Let's figure out what we want to do here. So, I know that I want this area here to be to remain exposed because that's the output for my main weapons and again, I like my main weapons to be exposed, if you will. And let's see. Traditionally, I have a nice large nose cap. I don't know if we want to hold to tradition this time. Uh, let's go three deep. Three deep from the nose armor. So I need to set that to two. Why two if you're going three deep? Because I already have one. One plus one plus that other one equals three. Right, now we set it to three. All right. And let's come here to width. Width is 69. Width is now 71. So traditionally, I have the nose cone to be... Actually, no, no, I don't want any of that there. There we go. That's probably better. The nose, nose piece is usually wider than the... Uh, the rest of the vessel. Zax is a shield. And let's put that there. That helped prevent from a rake or a raking shot? Yeah, raking shot. All these squishy bits here. Squishy bits here not really defended. I still don't know what this thing's going to look like. I have a vague idea, but it is it's wider than than uh, what I anticipated initially. Let's just come here and add some armor here. There we go. In fact, let's take that all the way up. There we go. So if we look dead on every all these bits here should be covered, and those are actually too far over. There we go, that's better. All right. And I don't want a big hole in the middle of my front nose cone shield thingy. See, eh, that's just too long. Too long, too wide. And of course, we need to sure up the uh, this part here. I am going way overkill with these weapons, or, or these the shield, aren't I? <laughs> By shield, I don't mean like a shield. I mean like a like a physical shield, like a what a knight would wear. Let's tell you what. Let's go two by two by two. Let's have that meet up here. Let's go three by three uh, by how many ever that is. And run these up the middle. Ah. There. And take that down to one. Awesome. And let's actually come back here and add this armor here. There we go. And I, I 
don't know if I really want to do this, but we're going to armor this up this way as well. Notice the front armor, I'm not doing the, the slats, everything is going to be solid facing the front. Why is that? Because all my, or my main guns point forward. I know the broadsides will come and strike the sides, but my laser beams point forward and I have to look forward to shoot my, my missiles. So I'm anticipating, probably will be wrong in this on most accounts, but I am anticipating um, heavy forward fire. That is, I'm going to be facing whatever I'm shooting, it's going to be facing me and we're going to be trying to shoot each other. So I am anticipating that, so I'm going to bulk up the nose piece here a little more. More than I would the uh, the rest of it. And because of the nature of these, I would like these bulked up as little more as well. There we go. And now let's, uh, let's grab some standard, gray standard. And we just want to... There we go. So right now, total armor there's 75... 74, 80, 90, depending on what angle you really hit. 74, so this should be like an unholy amount of armor, like 140, I think I saw, yeah, if I hit right there, 140, 93, 93. Looks like the base here is like 40, 42 armor. And let's see here. Oh, well, I wanted that to be three. Or I don't know how tall that is. Ten. And it is ten wide. Oh, that's a ten by no, it's a ten by nine. There we go. Why are you adding why are you adding standard armor to this these inside bits? Because standard armor gives this line here its HP, while advanced armor gives it its actual armor. See if we hold down shift. Uh, yeah, that's 300, uh, I'm sorry, 127, 300, hold up. I can never remember which one's the real one. Yeah, this block here is 300 HP plus the armor of the blocks behind it. This block is 300 HP plus the armor of the blocks behind it. So you're going to have to go through 3, 6, 900 HP armor, both are up in each block having... 75 armor that before you even hit the advanced armor which only has 150 hp and so once you hit the advanced armor it's going to go away real quick because the advanced armor is there for armor not for hp so hewlett packard needs to look elsewhere all right so I got that all nice and set up. <laughs> See anything else? No, looks like. I, I'm going to call the armor good on that. So what I want to do next is the thrusters, because the thrusters, I always have a problem with thrusters. So you can say goodbye. Oh, I didn't destroy Entity Docked, so there's probably going to be a bunch of junk. Where's, my, where's all the junk? Like, doors and stuff. Okay. Um. Oh, well, I want to save this as a LF-13. All right. And let's pull in... Oh, let's pull in an Inferno class. Uh, forget Inferno, admin load, and we want to undo that. We want to redo, oh wait a minute, do I have a, hold up. Do I have it in my, um, come on. Oh, I do, yes, I have that thruster in here. Okay, it's a 9 by 19 by 21. 
I was gonna seal that thruster, but I don't have to. Nine by nineteen by twenty one. Nine by nine. Oh, by, so I need to set this as a nine by nineteen, and we want to set our symmetry back in motion. And let's see. Nine by nineteen. They can't be right. Oh, okay, that's... Unset. Undo. 1d1. There we go. Unpaste. See if we can do like that. Oh, oh, no, no. Undo. There we go. Let's see if we can do like this. Paste. Oh, I keep turning on and off symmetry mode when I really want to be turning off my paste. Can I get a third one in there? Uh, we're going to see. Paste that. And... Is that going to go right down the center? No, it's not going to go right down the center. Alright, so we're going to set it here. And let's know again. I, I did it again. Alright. That is center line. Let's take you to you that way. There we go. Let's paste somewhere in this region. Right there. There, that one, not the other. Okay. Except it needs to come back like a lot. Do. Paste. It was on, yeah, it was on the other side of that. All right. Let's go 18 back. Okay. We're working on it. We're working on it. Actually, should line up with one of those. And let's set it back. Let's set it into the vessel a little more. There. And those are all cram pack of thrusters, or with thrusters. So. Yeah, that takes us up to 99.5% usage when everything's going. Well, all the weapons are, are going. Can I just shoot something? Probably. All right. Let's get rid of these little handles. And get rid of those. I believe these were all 24. Well, most of these were 21. All right. Now I have some engines to work with. And that takes us to 243, and that gives us seven blocks on either end for... Because I wanted to keep it... I wanted to get it to 250. That is awesome. And let's do a little pre or, no, preparatory work and get rid of the wedges here. You're getting rid of those wedges. Because it's it meets flat with this, and it's going to be better for everybody if those wedges were gone. See? Right. Awesome. Well, I was over here. I left the template without, without the wedges, so we're good over here. <laughs> All right. I love templates. They're my most favoriteest thing in Star Made. Well, my second most favoriteest thing in Star Made. Symmetry mode is my favoriteest thing in Star Made. Right. So we have the armor and the 
and the thrusters, well, the thruster output, plus a whole bunch of extra thrusters. Awesome. So I am going to start on, although this tower bridge is not going to be raised up as much as I hoped, and we might expand it to uh, meet needs and all that jazz. We might not, but I'm going to begin to start putting skin on it. Well, as I say I'm going to begin, I am going to pretend to begin to start putting skin on this on this vessel. You know what? The stock is useless with that missile port right there. Huh. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to rethink that because it's no longer the most out there thing. Huh. I should probably grab that whole missile array and move it. I can't move it there because I put stuff. Oh, well, good going, JW. <sighs> Anywho, I have been JW608. This has been Star Made, and I will dig you cats. Later.